When you think about what clients are, have been saying to us about the selling to procurement program, is that it just gives the account manager so much more confidence mm -hmm. in working with procurement. I mean, the fear sort of disappears from it. And now they can see that they're human beings, mm -hmm. um, but just with challenges, <laughs> challenges just like everyone else, yeah. but they have a method of working. And yeah. that really, really helps in terms of uh, just giving those account managers, you know, removing the fear. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I experienced with one of the clients I work with, what they really like is the fact that internally they can convince more of the resources they need because they can paint more clearly what's happening at a yeah. customer account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've seen that as well. Yeah, and, 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 and just the ability to put value propositions together that press the right buttons. I mean, that's such an improvement. Uh, so that's what clients are telling us. Oh, I agree. Mm. Yeah. And I think the other thing as I've seen is that if, if you're in a category you have to improve service with procurement as a key driver, then it's much easier to go to the sales director and say, look, I can't get growth today because the first priority is to give excellent service. Then we might in the future. And then previously that's been a difficult discussion for a salesperson to have. Yeah, and I, I think I think part of that is because procurement people are sceptical, certainly suspicious about the ability of an account manager or a salesperson to deliver on their promises, and so they experience what we call value leakage all the time. Mm -hmm. So if we can get account managers focusing on procurement's agenda, I mean that that is it helps build bridges, it helps build the right sort of productive collaborative relationship, and I think everybody wins.